quadratic factors. This is an example for quadratic factors. Okay, look at the denominator. Uh, there is a quadratic factor here. So we have to transform it into a over x plus b plus bx plus c over cx squared plus dx plus e. Okay, so first we can write it as x minus 5. Okay, then x plus b is x minus 1 plus b x plus c over the quadratic here is x squared plus 2. Okay, after this, you have to eliminate the denominator okay, for the question. Therefore, you have to multiply the whole equation with x minus 1 and x squared plus 2. Okay, so look at this one. When you multiply with this one, so you will get x minus 1 and x minus 1, x squared plus 2 and x squared plus 2. Okay, therefore you will get x minus 5 here equal to, okay, then a over x minus 1 multiply with this one. So, x minus 1 and x minus 1. Okay, therefore, you will get a multiplied with x squared plus 2. Okay, after this, take the this one, the x plus c or x squared plus 2, multiply with this one. So, we can eliminate x squared plus 2 and x squared plus 2 here. Therefore, you will get b x plus c multiply with x minus 1. Okay, please don't forget to put the bracket for b x plus c. Okay, alright, after this, you have to find the value for a, b and c. Okay, in order to find the value for a, b and c, I will substitute x equal to 1 in order to make the number here become 0. 1 minus 1 will become 0. Then, unknown for b and c, multiply with 0, we'll get 0. Okay, so x equal to 1. Okay, I will substitute the value of x equal to 1 into this equation this equation. So 1 minus 5 equal to a 1 square plus 2 okay, plus b 1 plus c is on 1 minus 1. Okay, 1 minus 1 you will get so this whole term will become 0. Therefore, 1 minus 5, you will get negative 4 equal to A multiplied with 3. Okay, therefore, A will equal to negative 4 over 3. Okay, alright, after this, I will compare the coefficient of x squared. Okay, after this, I will compare the coefficient for x squared. So before I compare the coefficient for x squared, I will expand the equation first. So 
So x minus 5 is equal to a x squared plus 2a plus x minus 5. I'll expand it. So you get dx squared. Bx squared minus Bx plus Cx minus C. Alright, so after this, I will compare the coefficient of x squared. Alright, so look at the blue equation. The coefficient for x squared is a and b. And the left hand side, there are no x squared, so the coefficient for x squared is equal to 0. Therefore, I can write it as 0 equal to a plus b the a is equal to negative 4 over 3 so you can substitute into here so 0 equal to negative 4 over 3 plus b therefore b equals to 4 over 3 Okay, for C, I can compare the coefficient for X. Because there is Cx here. So the coefficient for X at the left hand side is 1. Then for the right hand side is negative P and C. the coefficient of x therefore you will get 1 equal to negative p plus c you can substitute your b here into this one, so 1 equal to negative 4 over 3 plus C. Therefore, your C will equal to 1 plus 4 over 3. So, you will get C equal to 7 over 3. Alright, so last part, you have to substitute the value of A, B and C into this equation. So therefore, x minus 5 over x minus 1 multiplied with x squared plus 2 equal to, your a is negative 4 over 3, so negative 4 over 3, negative 4 over 3, x minus 1. Plus, your b is 4 over 3, and your c is 7 over 3. So you can put it as 4 x plus 7 over 3. x squared plus 2 ok you can look at this this one is 4 over 3 will be 4 over 3 here and your c is 7 over 3 7 over 3 alright so this is your final answer thank you